Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today I'm going to raise the banner for freed cubing. All right, today I'm going to talk about 3x3 three three cubing. So, 3x3 uh, three three cubes, they used to be known as Rubik's Cubes. Uh, the community, community just calls them cubes now. Uh, they're 3x3 three three cubes. Uh, they have 43 quint quintillion patterns, um, and you solve them, right? Now, uh, cubing is a, is a hobby. It's a distinct hobby. Um, but the vast majority of the hobby today is uh, speed cubing, okay? And speed cubing is huge. Uh, it has a really, really robust community. Um, it's, it's, very, it's big in America, and it's big all over the world. And people do it all the time, and within every single weekend, uh, within 100 miles of your house, almost certainly there's a cubing competition, right? Uh, with speed cubers, uh, you know, having competitions near you and solving cubes as fast as they possibly can, all right? Now, basically, I'm not calling you to be a speed cuber. I'm calling you to be a freed cuber. Now, what the heck is a freed cuber? Well, I am a freed cuber, okay? So, what is that? Well, when you, um, basically, the world is split into different peeps of people when it comes to cubes, okay? Uh, basically, a lot of people just look at cubes and go, I don't, that ain't my thing, I'm not gonna learn to do that, it's too hard. And they just, they just, they don't really interact with cubes. I don't think that's a great option. I think everybody should cube. Now, let me not skip that. Why should everybody in the world cube? I think everybody in the world should cube. And the reason why is, I've recently figured this out. Cubing is a philosophical approach to understanding complexity. And it gives you an option to explore complexity and how you will approach complexity. The world today is incredibly complex, and complexity is, a, it's a challenge for everyone, right? Now, you can fold it up, and you can just say, I'm only going to learn so much, and I'm going to stop learning, or you can really kind of embrace the constant need to never give up in mastering complexity by making it a game, right? And, uh, and cubing is one of the best platforms I have ever seen to allow someone to explore their own ability to approach reducing complexity, handling complexity, mastering complexity. Um, it's really, it's a powerful, powerful tool for learning about how you will approach complexity, how you will overcome complexity, how you will master complexity, how you will uh, maybe reduce complexity. It's it's incredibly powerful platform. and I, And uh, it has many, many advantages. One, uh, it's highly portable. It's cheap. Uh, it's very social. Um, it's peaceful. It's calm. It's very zen-like. It's just, it's a fantastic hobby, and I really cannot talk it up enough. I really think it's for everyone, right? The other thing that, that's really fascinating to me, too, is cubing more than any other hobby I've ever seen in my life has, is really the Shangri-La of intersectionality. It doesn't matter what your age is. It doesn't matter what your gender is. It doesn't matter what your, you know, what the color of your skin is. It doesn't matter what your preference is. When you're cubing, no one could give two rats, right? Like everybody's equal, right? And I love that part of it's a huge thing. And the cubing community has has really, in my opinion, very much um, they've accomplished this thing that a million other communities are trying to accomplish, and they're not even bragging about it, which I find incredible. Uh, it's really, really unique and special and wonderful. Uh, you got to check it out. It, it, cubing is amazing, right? So let's get back to the free cubing part, right? So the big thing is so you have people who check out of cubing, right? Then you have speed cubers and speed cubers are a very distinct breed. They are people who are absolutely laser focused on solving cubes as fast as possible. Okay. All serious speed cubers are sub 30 seconds. They can solve a cube in, in less than 30 seconds. Many of them can solve a cube in less than 10 seconds, okay? And the fastest people in the world solve cubes between seven and three seconds. That, that's a very narrow window, and to get there, you gotta be incredibly dedicated, okay? Uh, and I'll say, I'm not sure it's a lot of fun at that level, um, you know, like, Maybe there's a reward for it, maybe not. But the reality is, speed cubing is its own thing. I'm not here to dissuade anyone from speed cubing. If you want to do speed cubing, that's its own thing, right? 
But one of the things I will say is speed cubing is incredibly valuable because it's created this structure, right? And I'm part of that structure now. I go to speed cubing events and I solve cubes in two to five minutes, which is outrageously slow for speed cubes, for speed cubing. But I am holding up the banner to go to speed cubes and be really, speed cubing events and be really bad at it, right? Now, why am I saying you should do this? Well, I think it's great for everybody. It's great for you and I think it's really good for the speed cubing community as well, right? And the reason why is this is what I'm talking about as far as freed cubing, okay? So the competition is a great thing and it brings about a ton of wonderful things for the community, for the speed cubing community, right? But it also makes it a win-lose proposition, right? Because, and you know, for every competition, there's maybe three winners and there's literally 97 other people, because these, most of these events are 100 people, who go home upset, right? And, or, or disappointed or frustrated, right? And that, that can be a downer, right? I, I get that, right? But one of the things that you can do if you go for free cubing is you are not trying to be the fastest solver in the world. You're just trying to solve faster than you did at your last competition. And that is an incredibly cool, special goal, right? And you don't even need to achieve that. Uh, like in my first event, I, I used a very, a very simple method. It's a beginner's method. And in the second event, I used F2L, uh, which is a little more advanced method. And it actually slowed my time down, right? But the reality is I absolutely had a blast the people I went with had a blast. The people that I met were thrilled to see me there. Uh, I also brought, I bought a lot of cubes, right? I bought a lot of stuff, right? I brought industry to that, to that community, right? And, uh, and that's good. Like all of those things are good, right? This is an incredible hobby. And, and I'll say right now, I think it would really help the speed cubing community to get people who are slower, not faster, but slower right? And there's a whole lot of reasons for this. One, first and foremost, I really think if people start seeing freed cubing as an option, go in and just try to do better than you did in your last tournament. Not trying to do better than the fat, not trying to be the fastest person there, just trying to be faster than you were last time, right? And even if you're failing, you know, counting yourself fortunate and, uh, and being proud of yourself for, for competing, that is a really special, wonderful thing. And this is such an incredibly wonderful hobby. I really, really, really encourage everyone to really consider freed cubing. It's a fantastic, wonderful hobby. Uh, I think it's barely, and, and the other thing is I think it's very, the, the potential is very, very barely tapped. Very barely tapped. Um, and so I'm just really, really fascinated by the remaining potential that exists if hundreds of thousands, even low millions of Americans come out for freed cubing, which is something you could do at a speed cubing competition. And I am holding the banner for it. I, I think I am a number one participant in freed cubing. And I would love to have a lot more people sitting beside me. Um, uh, definitely, definitely check out cubing. Really consider freed cubing. Um, thank you for letting me share this idea with you today. Please consider liking and subscribing and have a wonderful millennium.